Welcome to another episode of my show, Flight School Reports. If you're new to my channel, in this show we visit flight schools around the U.S. and we film their facilities, their aircrafts, and we speak to their admissions team to learn more about their admissions process. Last week we visited a flight school in Tamiami Airport. And today as well we'll be visiting another school at Tamiami Airport in Miami. The school is PTC, Pilot Training Center. But before we move forward, please support our channel by subscribing and sharing and liking the videos. Let's go. Hello, my name is Mateo. I'm a flight instructor here in Pilot Training Center. We're located in Miami Executive Airport here in Miami. And I'm going to walk you through our flight school. This is our front desk on our dispatch area. Solo, Solo time. We have four classrooms for ground school, and they look all like this. Here we have our simulator, it's a Red Beard FMX 1000, it's also for 172 and for multi engine. This is our study room. This is where flight instructors and students get the pre-flight briefing and post-flight briefing. They also can check the weather and they can study for their tests. My name is Kamal Patel. I'm uh, the chief flight instructor and one of the owners for Pilot Training Center. Pilot Training Center was started in 2010, the beginning of 2010. We started back then with two aircrafts and in the last 12 years we've grown to 21 aircraft and a student load of now about 250 annual students coming through this campus. So our fleet is, we have uh, Cessna Skycatcher, which is similar to a 152, a two-seat uh, trainer. Then Cessna 172M models, we have, I believe, nine of those aircraft. Piper Cadets, which are PA-28s, Piper Warriors, that are designed for training purposes. And we have five of those, two of which have been converted to glass cockpit. A Piper Aero. Piper Archer, which is also one of our TAA aircrafts, has glass and autopilot, and two Technum P2006Ts, which are our multi-engine trainers. For our simulator, we have a Redbird uh, FMX 1000, and we have that set up as both a Cessna 172 uh, with an analog uh, cockpit, and then the Technum with the G950 cockpit. Tamiami Airport is uh, it's a fairly new airport. It used to be located where Florida International University was. It was moved to this location in Kendall, I believe about uh, 35 years ago. And uh, it's a very good location because it's outside of the Class Bravo, underneath of Class Bravo shelf, which is 5,000 feet. And once you're about three miles south, uh, you're outside the class of Bravo altogether. So this location uh, keeps us close to a uh, big airport with uh, good traffic. It has a uh, control tower, six runways, yet it's far enough outside of the uh, city where traffic isn't too bad and far enough away from Miami International where uh, we're not bothered with the uh, traffic going in and out of that airport. So we kind of get the best of both worlds. Right, so we're a 141 flight school. We have um, private pilot, instrument, and commercial in our 141 programs. We also offer Part 61 training for multi-engine, ATP, CFI, I, and MEI. The admission process for international students, we have a online form that they will fill out on our website. When they fill out the form, 
they'll be redirected to a link where they can pay an application fee and then from then a admissions person will contact them and issue them an I-20 which they can take to the embassy to receive their visa. That program is a 12-month program and it goes to a 141 curriculum for private through to commercial single and commercial multi-engine. The Also for part 61 we offer ATP training once someone has completed their ATP written, also CFI, I, and MEI as well as uh, basic courses such as biannual flight review, refreshery courses, and IPCs. Sure, well it's important to pick a good flight school, so do your due diligence with going through talking to somebody at that flight school. The one thing I caution all students is don't be, uh, not to go to a flight school where you're gonna have to pay your tuition up front. It's best to go pay as you go, and that way if anything happens at flight school, your money is safe. You know, a lot of schools want to have students and they like to take the money up front so the student is stuck at that school. We think a student, when they come, they have a right to change schools if they're not happy with where they are. So we're not trying to hold them hostage. If they want to transfer, they're more than happy to do so. And any school that asks for your money up front, it's either that maybe they're paying for their past students with your tuition or they're just trying to keep that money to keep you at the school regardless of whether you like the school or not. So I don't think in any scenario it's a good idea to pay all your money up front to a school. And for that same reason, we don't, we don't ask for it.